it, it's a tremendous honor to receive this award. Uh, Pat was an inspiration, an icon, a beacon uh, for me and for, for many, many coaches um, throughout our careers. And to receive an award named for her and one that honors her legacy, um, it, it's the, it's the um, most special award that I've received or will, will ever receive. Um, I cared great, a great deal for uh, Pat and got to meet her several times. Um, and she was so gracious with her time. Um, and uh, those moments, you know, will always be special for me. And now to have an award um, in her name uh, is, is just um, the, the best moment in, in my coaching career right now. Um, for, for all of us in coaching, uh, the head coach uh, gets a lot of recognition. And all of us in coaching know that there is an army of people behind us. Like you can't, in this office, this office should be filled, of course, with all my former players, um, their talent, uh, their remarkable abilities um, have, have been the reason that, that I've met with success. And in this office, it should be filled with my former assistant coaches, um, in particular, Paul Caddy and, and uh, Sherry Schultz, um, who've worked with me for 20 years at the University of Connecticut. Um, and then for anyone in athletics, we know how important our high school coaches and our college coaches have been in our careers. And I was fortunate to have two of the best, uh, Julie Dixon and Bonnie Grow. And then I think what's most meaningful to me um, in, in uh, being named the recipient of this award, uh, I also get to direct a uh, $10,000 honorarium to um, an organization that is doing work uh, with brain disorders. So I've chosen uh, University of Connecticut's Department of Neurology and the, the honorarium will help fund a fellowship um, in the movement disorders uh, department on, it's a center of excellence uh, for brain disorders. And so I know how pleased Pat would be uh, to know that this support is going um, and will, to, to, the, to the Department of Neurology and it's gonna make a difference. Um, and I know from listening to Pat is that she always felt that her legacy um, in fighting uh, brain disorders um, and uh, dementia, that her legacy in that would be greater than her coaching legacy, if you can even imagine that. Um, so she still inspires me on a daily basis. And um, I'm, I'm just, I was so pleased when Dr. Emmerich called me and, um, you know, couldn't thank him enough. Um, and finally, you know, the NCAA has, um, provided me with such incredible opportunities throughout my coaching career. Uh, and I worked on the NCAA Field Hockey Committee. I was chair of the NCAA Field Hockey Committee and we planned the first national championship for women. And that was in uh, field hockey in 1981. So it's kind of come full circle, um, you know, from going, I guess, from planning them to, to winning a couple, um, and now to receive this award from Dr. Emmert and the NCAA. Uh, and I, I am um, grateful beyond measure. Thank you.